So Monsanto played that game very well, both the political game and the uh, regulatory game. They played a key role in bovine growth hormone in getting that thing approved and also in how genetic engineering was dealt with. Michael Hansen has just mentioned bovine growth hormone. What's that? It's a transgenic hormone that's injected into cows, increasing dairy production by 20%. It would be an understatement to say that it had critics. The hormone threatens our health. Deadly poison. Manipulation. Called RBGH for a recombinant bovine growth hormone, Monsanto began selling it to dairy farmers in 1994 under the brand name Posilac. Pozzolac is the single most tested new product in history. You'll soon see the dramatic results Pozzolac can offer you. In 1985, Monsanto submitted Pozzolac to the FDA for market approval. The experts at the FDA's Center for Veterinary Medicine reviewed the studies that the company had carried out on experimental herds. At the FDA, the veterinarian in charge of reviewing the data was Richard Burroughs. In an interview, he stated that agency officials had suppressed and manipulated data. The data that they came in with lacked a lot of insight into the dairy industry. They didn't ask crucial questions about these diseases, and that is mastitis, which is infection of the mammary gland, and reproductive problems. So when the first data came in and that was missing, I said, um, all right, guys, you need to go back and get information. So that set it back probably two or three years. Did you warn the FDA about your concerns? They pretty much just sidetracked me. They pulled in, my boss pulled in other people that were closer to him, and I saw less and less of the data. Even the things I had asked for to be done, I didn't like the mastitis studies. I never really got to see a lot of that because they figured, well, if you're in the way, we'll get you out of the way. So they sidetracked me. Eventually, I was fired. One day, I was escorted to the door and told that was it. I was, I was done. Have you been threatened? Yes. Um, mainly by the lawyers for Monsanto, because when I was going for my appeal, they told my lawyer that if I went in and revealed any company secrets in my defense, that they would sue me. In the end, the FDA was forced to reinstate this conscientious veterinarian. He eventually resigned, disheartened. On the internet, there's also talk about files that were stolen from the FDA and sent to Dr. Samuel Epstein, who heads the Cancer Prevention Coalition. In 1990, Samuel Epstein published an article in The Milkweed, the standard for dairy reporting, edited by Pete Hardin. The scoop was based on the secret documents that the two men scrutinized. One morning, uh, I came in, I think in October of that year, I came into my office and found a great big box of documents. And um, the, it came from Washington, but no indication as to who sent it. This was a box of files of all Monsanto records which had been submitted to the FDA on the veterinary tests in the preceding six years or so. Well, this was great fun. Many of these documents are original documents. Uh, and as it says here, company confidential. It can, contains confidential information which not be, may not be reproduced, revealed to unauthorized persons, or sent outside the company without proper authorization. As an investigative journalist, that's the kind of stuff I like to report. Revealing this information made Monsanto and FDA very, very angry because what we were able to establish is that there were dramatic 
physiological changes in the animals that receive the shot, the hormone shots, compared to their control group peers. For example, we see the ovaries of the cows receiving the synthetic hormone in the different treatment groups were, for the right ovaries, 34% larger, 42% larger, and 44% larger. Elsewhere in the stolen files, it shows how there were severe problems with the reproduction of these treated animals. The data is conclusive. We provided the data, the raw data, uh, and summary data, peer-reviewed data not done by us, to support the submission. Every health authority who has looked at bovine somatotropin has found that it is completely safe for consumers. For Monsanto, the hormone is not only safe, it is actually beneficial for consumers. Because the chemical composition of the milk is not altered as a result of Pozolac, the manufacturing and taste properties do not change. It's untrue or lie, whatever adjective you want to use. <laughs> um, it's a very different product. It's a very, very different product in many, many ways. First of all, um, as there's a high incidence of mastitis in the cows, there'll be pus in the milk. And then you'd find antibiotics to the, uh, given to the cows to uh, treat the mastitis. So a wide range of antibiotics would be in the milk. Apart from that, and very, very importantly, very substantial increases in levels of IGF-1, or insulin-like growth factor 1. There have been a series of studies, somewhere in the region of 60, relating increased levels of IGF-1 and breast, colon, and prostate cancers. Absolutely incredible. Are there other countries that have approved RBGH? Apparently, the hormone was banned in Europe and Canada. Canada? That's strange because Health Canada usually models its decisions on the FDAs. RBGH, scandal at Health Canada. Monsanto accused of attempt to bribe Health Canada for RBGH. Margaret Hayden? I swear that the evidence I shall give on this In October 1998, three scientists from Health Canada testified before a Senate commission in order to stop the approval of the transgenic hormone. The scandal was made public by whistleblower Dr. Shiv Chopra. Shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. My question to myself was, what truth am I going to tell the one I know or the what the minister is telling me to tell? And that was my uh, conflict. I would ask each one of you, have everyone, any one of you been uh, lobbied by Monsanto? Any one of you? No. Dr. Hayden? I did attend a meeting uh, back uh, approximately about, I believe, 1989-90, uh, and Monsanto representatives had met with uh, myself and my uh, supervisor, Dr. Drennan, and my director, Dr. Messier, and at that meeting, uh, an offer of one to two million dollars was made uh, by the company, and uh, I don't know uh, any more about what became of that, but uh, my director <coughs> indicated after the meeting that he was going to report it to his uh, superiors. How did Monsanto react? Well, Monsanto did not deny that they made the offer of one to two million dollars at this meeting. They later on tried to say, oh, this was an offer of research in Canada uh, to uh, do some more studies in cows in Canada or whatever. So anyway, that's what happened in Canada. The drug was not approved. So the European Parliament, based on what revelations in Canada, banned it forever. And then all of a sudden, we three, Margaret Hayden, Gerard Lambert, and I were dismissed for disobedience. And we fired. All three of us were fired, and those fights are now in courts. Our bovine growth hormone.
The United States Congress also opened an investigation at the request of RBGH opponents who opposed the ban on labeling milk as RBGH free. Interestingly enough, the investigation was never completed. Purchases of milk surpluses. Bovine growth hormone, BGH, is a test of consumer acceptance of genetic engineering. In the garbage. In the garbage. In the garbage. The cow hormone drug was simply the first major application of biotechnology to food production. And Monsanto is a very powerful corporation with many, many linkages to top level persons in government. Uh, I think the prevailing ethic at the federal government was f f biotechnology is so important that we can't let a few little questions about cow safety or human safety get in the way.